My name is Stephanie Yanez, and you're tuned in to Anime 3000. Right now we're speaking with Stephanie Yanez, who joined us back in, I want to say, July when she was going to Anime Expo. Not just going, that's kind of underselling what you're doing. You were performing and making appearances at Anime Expo in AM Squared. Now you're back, you have a lot of exciting things to share with our audience. Uh, first of all, welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, what's what's going on with you right now? Why are we bringing you on to Anime 3000 to speak with our audience? Well, I have some very exciting news. My second full-length album, Rising, is going to be out on iTunes and Amazon and a whole bunch of other sites. And it's going to have 11 new songs and all produced by Polo, my Japanese producer, and I'm just really excited. Also on that CD, it's going to have Ultimate Miku World, where I sung with Hatsune Miku, and, and I, I'm going to have my new, my new songs on there. One of my new songs that I'm highlighting on the CD is called Rising, which is why the CD is called Rising too. A very positive word. <laughs> so you also um, did a video. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, so I made a music video for the CD that's coming out, and the music video is for the song Rising, and I was so fortunate to have met Mika, she's the director of the music video, and Nobu, he's the one that edited the music video, and they took me out to the hills where they filmed E.T., if you can believe that or not. And I had a full girl band, and we were out there rocking out. And there's a little story to the music video as well. And I mean, the music video is amazing. I'm just so glad I, I watched the finished product recently. And I was just thanking everyone that was there, that was on the set, that, that was helping. And it's just amazing, amazing music video. I think it's. Obviously, this is my third music video, so it's, it's my best. It's my best. It's going to be my best music video. <laughs> oh, you said it's your best music video. Your other music videos are going to be so jealous now. Yeah, they will, but <laughs> I still love them. <laughs> now, now we were speaking a little bit earlier, and we are having um, a little bit deeper discussion about everything that you're doing. And um, it's kind of going along with the current philosophy or not philosophy but just mission of what we're doing at anime 3000 we want to kind of showcase anime fans that are out there that are going above and beyond what the normal fans are doing and trying to make a name for themselves whether it be music um drawing you know artwork or whatever or just podcasting even for example so how do you feel like right now what role have you played in the development of of american j-pop artists well, I feel that I was one of the first American J-pop artists to hit the scene and make a name for myself. I can't even really name five more artists off of my <laughs> off of my fingers uh, who have been doing the same things or getting the same amazing opportunities that I've been getting. And I mean, it all started, you know, with. Uh, going to anime conventions and I don't even remember back in to like in 1999 2000 seeing many girls at the conventions to begin with and then when the karaoke scene started hitting the anime conventions I started doing those and then AX Idol came around and I started performing and singing and I won AX Idol and I think ever since I've been touring at different anime conventions I noticed that more and more fans are getting themselves out there and I'm seeing more YouTube accounts of people singing Japanese songs and more American bands performing Japanese covers and songs as well and I've been meeting people from East Coast and seeing people from Mexico do it now and it's just amazing where in the beginning when I was 
you know, when I went to AX Idol, I didn't know anyone that was singing in Japanese that was American. And now all these Americans are, and even people from Mexico and just all over the world are trying to make a name for themselves in music. Okay, and um, you mentioned that you didn't, for those of people who were looking at, if they listen to your music, like, all right, I want to keep the ball rolling, I've already have your album in, in play, like, what is another name out there to let them know it's not just a isolated thing, you know, obviously for something to catch steam, it has to be more than just one person, like, who else could they look for to know that this is actually a scene and not just an individual movement? Yes, well... There's Christina V. She's actually a voice actress more so than a singer, but she does uh, cover songs of anime on YouTube, and she has a lot of hits. There's also a band called Akai Sky, and I've actually toured with them all over the convention scene and stuff, and they do J-pop, J-rock music, and they're all American, and they have their own original songs in Japanese. And uh, there's, there are more artists, but I'm still trying to find all of their info out and everything. And I've just come across a couple of YouTube clips here and there from different people. But more and more bands and artists are definitely trying to make a name for themselves. All right. And um, for everyone out there that wants to find out more about um, Stephanie Yanez, where can they go? You can go to stephanieyanez.com.